Good morning, grade 11 in Mujtama Private School. How are you? I hope everything is okay with you. Today, we will start a new week in our term, the week number 11. And we are starting writing, listen, cause and effect essay. Let's start with our school vision. Our school is our school vision is to prepare creative, well-educated students who are able to establish civilized, aware, reserved society, stick to the authentic morals and values, in addition to using the modern technology. Our value is depending on a law. Let's start our lesson with this warm-up. Answer the following questions. What do you know about global warming? Question 2. What effects are temperatures changes having on the world we live in? Question 1. Here is a suggested answer. Well, I know that it has been a topic of much debate over the last two decades. There is a lot of concern that human activities such as the burning of fossil fuels are causing the observed increase in global temperatures. Question 2. What effects are temperature changes having on the world we live in? These temperatures are having a huge impact on the natural environment. For instance, glaciers are melting, sea levels are rising, natural habitats are being destroyed at an uh, unprecedented rate in plant and animal Animal species are becoming extinct. Exercise B, open page number 60 to student book. Exercise B, read the writing task and the essay below, then do the activity that follow. In your English class, you have been talking about global warming. Now, your English teacher has asked you to write an essay in which you discuss the possible causes and effects of this phenomenon. Here is a model. It consists of four paragraphs. Paragraph 1 is called Introduction. Paragraph 2 and 3, they are called the main body paragraphs. And paragraph 4 is called Conclusion. Paragraph 1 you can talk in general about the issue. Paragraph 2. To get the main idea of paragraph 2, read the topic sentence, which means the first sentence of paragraph 2 and 3. Paragraph 2 is about the main cause of global warming. Paragraph 3 is about the consequences of global warming. Paragraph 2, here is a question. How does the writer support his point? Actually, he gives an example. So, he uses the technique of giving example and given facts. In paragraph 3, he supports his point with giving facts also and contrast. In paragraph 4, he concludes the uh, essay with rephrasing the main cause and consequences, making summary and recommendation. He ends all the text with a rhetorical question. Each of the following statements corresponds to a paragraph in the essay. Write the numbers from 1 to 4 in the boxes provided. In this paragraph, the writer examines the negative effects that his phenomenon is having. Effects meaning the consequences. Excellent paragraph 3. In which paragraph the writer states the specific purpose of the essay. Excellent paragraph 1, the introduction. In which paragraph the writer uses a rhetorical question? Four. Excellent. And in which paragraph the writer outlines the main reason behind this phenomenon? Two. 
In which paragraph does the writer briefly summarize the main idea, the main idea raised in the text? Summarize, summary in paragraph 4. Makes a general statement to introduce the topic and set the scene. Excellent, paragraph 1. In which paragraphs does the writer use example to examine a point, to explain a point? Yes, actually the main body paragraphs 2 and 3. Question 2. How the outline of this essay different from the one on page number 58? Of course, the organization. In page 58, he mentions each reason with its effect. And here, he mentions a paragraph about the main cause and another separate paragraph about the consequences. In this essay, the writer focuses on one primary cause for, of this phenomenon and discusses it in a greater detail in a paragraph on its own. The writer here outlines the effects of the phenomenon in a separate paragraph. In contrast, the writer of the essay in page number 58 outlines three different causes and the corresponding effects of each in three different paragraphs. There is thus a clear connection between the cause and the effect described in each paragraph. Question 2. The writer uses a rhetorical question at the end of the essay to make a point, draw the reader's attention to the severity of the situation and make the reader think. The style which is used here the writing style of this text is expository, informative, to give information. What its character, characteristics? What are the characteristics of the informative or expository style? The text is subject-oriented and neutral. It aims to explain and present the facts in the logical order or sequence. It doesn't usually include the writer's opinion, but may sometimes make reference to it in, op in uh, the conclusion. There are four main types of writing style. Expository, descriptive, persuasive, and narrative. Question 4. What was the question 4? What style of question 5 find and underline the linking words the writer uses in her essay? Then use the list on page number 59 to determine which category they belong to. For instance, giving example, however, contrasting one such activity listing points. Other activities adding points, firstly listing points, such as giving examples. Secondly, listing points, apart from this adding points, as a consequence expressing result or consequence. To sum up, summing up. Exercise C, read the essay, begin again and complete the mind map below using the information in the text. What is the environmental problem? What is the cause which is mentioned? What are the effects of this cause? The global warming is the environmental problem. The cause here, greenhouse gases from human activities, affects extreme weather conditions, habitat destruction, and melting of ar arctic sea ice, glaciers, and ice sheets. The effect number two, habitat destruction, leads to higher wildlife extension rates. And Effect number one, extreme weather conditions. There are examples like droughts, wild fires, 
which lead to loss of human life. Complete the mind map. Exercise D. Complete the sentences to show a consequence or effect of the situation described. Number one, factories dump the toxic waste in rivers and lakes. As a result, rivers and lakes become heavily polluted and aquatic animal, animal die. Number two, farmers spray crops with chemicals to kill plant-eating insects. As a consequence, the soil gradually becomes poorer in quality and eventually plants cannot grow in it. 3. Animals that are considered endangered species, such as elephants, tigers, seals, and whales, are haunted for their body, par for body parts. For this reason, complete number three. For this reason, their population numbers in the wild are steadily decreasing, and if we don't do something about it, these species will soon become extinct. Four. Each household produces tons of rubbish every year, most of which is not recycled. Consequently. Rubbish builds up in landfill sites across the city, which poses a significant risk to the environment and to human health. 5. The global population is continuously growing. Therefore, natural resources such as land, water, food, and fossil fuels are being used faster than ever before. 6. Rising temperatures are leading to droughts and severe water shortages. As a result, farmers around the world are losing their crops. Exercise E. Read the writing task below and underline the keywords or phrases that answer the questions. In your English class, you have been talking about deforestation. Now, your English teacher has asked you to write an essay in which you discuss the possible causes and effects of this environmental problem. What is the topic about? Deforestation. What have you been requested to do? To write cause and effect. Causes and effects essay. What writing styles should you use? Expository. Here are some tips. When writing cause effect essay, underline the key words in, in writing task to get a clear idea of what your essay should focus on. 2. Using or use a variety of print and digital resources to find information on the topic. 3. Create a mind map to establish connections and organize the information. 4. Divide your essay into paragraphs that serve a specific function or deal with a specific aspect of the issue. 5. Use one of the two outlines featured in this module depending on how you want to present your information. 6. Expand your, your ideas by explaining them clearly and supporting them with reasons or examples. 7. Use linking words to list points or to give examples and to express results, consequences, etc. 8. Write in, write in a formal style and don't use abbreviations for or short forms. Last, begin or end your essay using a rhetorical question or thought-provoking idea to give your reader something to think about or to emphasize a point. Go to the workbook, open page number 52, here is a plan. Introduction, introduce the issue or the topic of discussion by making a general statement or providing an interesting fact about it. State the specific purpose of your essay. 
the main part or the main body. Paragraph one, or it can two, it can be two. Discuss the causes of the phenomenon in the in one paragraph. Then in the following paragraph, discuss the effects that this phenomenon is having. Provide justification for the points raised and use examples where possible to elaborate on. Clarify or prove the points referred to. Outline two, it can be two paragraphs or three. Discuss each cause and its corresponding effect in separate paragraphs. Provide justifications for the points raised and use examples where possible to elaborate on, or clarify, or prove the points referred to. Conclusion briefly summarize the main ideas raised in the essay, use the rhetorical questions uh, or thought provoking idea to make the reader think. Here is another plan. Set the environmental problem. Think about three causes. Explain or support these causes with justification or examples. Paragraph 2. The effects, three effects for the three reasons, with their justifications and examples. Then conclusion. It can be two uh, causes. It's not conditioned to be three. Now write your uh, essay here on page number 53. Here is a suggested model. You can take some ideas of it. Now we've finished our lesson. I hope you have understood it. Thank you and goodbye.